Sedimentary or deposits. Sedimentary or deposits are mineral accumulations formed through sedimentary processes. These deposits are significant sources of various metals and minerals essential for numerous industrial applications. Here is an overview of the types and formation processes of sedimentary or deposits. Types of sedimentary or deposits. Clastic sedimentary deposits. Formed by the physical accumulation of mineral particles transported by water, wind, or ice. Example, placer deposits of gold, tin, and gemstones. Chemical sedimentary deposits. Formed by the precipitation of minerals from solution in water. Example, evaporite deposits, salt, gypsum, banded iron formations, BEFs, and manganese nodules. Biogenic sedimentary deposits. Formed through the actions of organisms. Example, phosphorite deposits, phosphate minerals, coal beds, and some limestone deposits. Formation processes. Placer deposits. Heavy minerals are concentrated by flowing water in rivers and streams. Minerals like gold, platinum, and tin are found in these deposits. Example, the Witwatersrand Basin in South Africa, one of the world's largest gold fields. Evaporite deposits. Formed by the evaporation of water, usually in arid environments, leaving behind salts. Common minerals include halite, salt, gypsum, and anhydrite. Example, the Great Salt Lake in Utah, USA. Banded iron formations, BFs. Consist of alternating layers of iron-rich minerals and silica, chert. Formed in ancient oceans where oxygen levels fluctuated. Example, the Hamersley Basin in Western Australia. Phosphorite deposits. Formed in marine environments from the accumulation of phosphate minerals. Often associated with organic-rich sediments. Example, the Phosphoria Formation in the USA. Manganese nodules. Found on the deep ocean floor, formed by the slow precipitation of manganese and other metals from seawater. Contain valuable metals like manganese, nickel, cobalt, and copper. Coal beds. Formed from the accumulation and burial of plant material in swampy environments. Over geological time, heat and pressure transform the plant material into coal. Example, the Appalachian Basin in the USA. Limestone and dolostone. Formed primarily from the accumulation of shells, coral, algae, and other biogenic material in marine environments. Can also form through direct chemical precipitation. Example, the Carboniferous Limestone of the United Kingdom. Economic Importance Sedimentary or deposits are crucial for the global economy. They provide essential raw materials for construction, manufacturing, energy production, and various other industries. Understanding their formation and distribution helps in effective exploration and sustainable extraction of these resources. Exploration and Mining Exploration techniques for sedimentary or deposits include geological mapping, geochemical analysis, geophysical surveys, and drilling. Mining methods vary depending on the deposit type and can range from surface mining, e.g., placer mining, to underground mining, e.g., coal mining. Environmental and Sustainability Considerations Mining and extraction of sedimentary or deposits can have significant environmental impacts, including habitat destruction, water pollution, and soil erosion. Sustainable practices and regulations are essential to mitigate these effects and ensure responsible resource management. Understanding the geological processes that form sedimentary or deposits is essential for their exploration and extraction. The variety of deposits reflects the diverse environments and processes that have operated over Earth's history. Formation of sedimentary or deposits The formation of sedimentary or deposits involves various geological processes that concentrate valuable minerals in specific locations within the Earth's crust. These processes can be categorized into three primary mechanisms, mechanical, clastic, chemical, and biological. 
Each mechanism operates under different environmental conditions and results in distinct types of ore deposits. Here's a detailed look at how these deposits form. 1. Mechanical, Clastic, Processes Placer Deposits Formation Mechanism Placer deposits form through the physical separation and concentration of heavy minerals by flowing water, rivers, streams, or wind. As sediment is transported, lighter materials are carried away, leaving behind denser minerals. Typical minerals, gold, platinum, tin, titanium, diamonds. Examples, the Witwatersrand Basin, South Africa, for gold, and the alluvial diamond deposits in Namibia. 2. Chemical Processes Evaporite Deposits Formation Mechanism Evaporite deposits form from the evaporation of water in closed basins, such as salt lakes or inland seas, leading to the precipitation of soluble minerals. Typical minerals, halite, salt, gypsum, and hydrite, potash. Examples, the Great Salt Lake, USA, the Dead Sea, Israel-Jordan. Banded Iron Formations, BFs. Formation Mechanism BIFs are chemical sedimentary rocks consisting of alternating layers of iron rich minerals and silica, chert. They formed in ancient oceans where fluctuating oxygen levels caused periodic precipitation of iron. Typical minerals hematite, magnetite. Examples The Hamersley Basin, Australia, the Lake Superior Region, USA Canada. Manganese nodules. Formation mechanism Manganese nodules form on the ocean floor through the slow precipitation of metals, manganese, nickel, cobalt, copper, from seawater, often around a nucleus like a small rock or fossil. Typical minerals, manganese oxides, cobalt, nickel. Examples, the clarion clipperton zone in the Pacific Ocean. 3. Biological Processes Phosphorite Deposits Formation Mechanism Phosphorite deposits form in marine environments, where the accumulation of organic matter and subsequent microbial activity leads to the precipitation of phosphate minerals. Typical minerals, apatite, francolite. Examples, the Phosphoria Formation, USA, the Moroccan phosphate deposits. Coal beds. Formation mechanism, coal beds form from the accumulation and burial of plant material in swampy, anoxic environments. Over geological time, heat and pressure convert this plant material into coal. Typical minerals, various forms of coal, lignite, bituminous coal, anthracite. Examples, the Appalachian Basin, USA, the Ruhr Valley, Germany. Environmental and Geological Contexts Rivers and Streams Placer deposits form in riverbeds where the flow velocity decreases, causing heavy minerals to settle out of the water. Erosion of surrounding rock is crucial for supplying the minerals. Closed basins and inland seas. Evaporite deposits form in arid climates where evaporation exceeds precipitation, concentrating dissolved ions. Example environments include salt flats and dried up lakes. Ancient marine environments. BFs formed in ancient, iron-rich oceans where oxygen produced by photosynthetic organisms caused iron to precipitate. The layering reflects seasonal or episodic changes in oxygen levels. Deep ocean floors. Manganese nodules form very slowly over millions of years, precipitating from seawater in deep ocean environments with low sedimentation rates. Biological activity and volcanic processes can influence nodule formation. Swampy and coastal environments. Coal beds form in peat bogs and swamps where plant material is preserved in an anoxic, low oxygen, environment, preventing decay. Subsequent burial and geological processes transform the organic matter into coal. Importance of understanding formation processes. Understanding the formation processes of sedimentary ore deposits helps geologists locate and exploit these resources more effectively. It also aids in predicting where similar deposits might be found and in developing strategies for sustainable and environmentally responsible extraction. 
Exploration Techniques Geological Mapping Identifying rock types and structures that indicate favorable conditions for or deposit formation. Geochemical analysis, sampling and analyzing soils, rocks, and waters for trace elements associated with or minerals. Geophysical surveys, using methods like seismic, magnetic, and gravity surveys to detect subsurface structures and mineral concentrations. Drilling, Extracting core samples to directly observe subsurface geology and assess or quality and quantity. Understanding these processes and applying appropriate exploration techniques is crucial for the efficient and sustainable development of sedimentary ore deposits. Characteristics of sedimentary ore deposits Sedimentary ore deposits possess distinct characteristics that arise from the geological and environmental conditions under which they form. These characteristics help geologists identify, classify, and evaluate these deposits. Here are the key characteristics of sedimentary ore deposits. 1. Mineral Composition Variety of minerals, sedimentary ore deposits can contain a wide range of minerals depending on the type of deposit and the formation environment. Common minerals include gold, platinum, tin, iron oxides, phosphates, salts, and coal. Elemental concentrations, they often have high concentrations of specific elements, such as iron in banded iron formations, BIFs, manganese in manganese nodules, or phosphorus in phosphorite deposits. 2. Texture and structure. Layering and stratification, many sedimentary ore deposits show distinct layering due to the depositional processes. For instance, BFs exhibit alternating layers of iron-rich minerals and silica. Grain size, the grain size in sedimentary deposits can vary from fine particles in chemical precipitates, like halite, to coarse grains in clastic deposits, like placer gold. Nodular or concretionary forms, some deposits, like manganese nodules, form as discrete nodules or concretions on the ocean floor. 3. Formation Environment Depositional settings, these deposits form in various settings, such as riverbeds, placers, marine environments, phosphorites, BIFs, evaporative basins, evaporites, and swampy areas, coal. Hydrological conditions, the presence of water, either in rivers, lakes, oceans, or groundwater, is crucial for the formation of many sedimentary ore deposits. 4. Geochemical conditions. Redox conditions, many deposits form under specific redox conditions. For instance, BFs form in environments where oxygen levels fluctuate, while coal forms in anoxic, oxygen-poor, environments. pH and salinity, chemical sedimentary deposits like evaporites form in highly saline conditions, while the precipitation of minerals like manganese or phosphate can depend on the pH levels of the surrounding water. 5. Spatial Distribution Large lateral extent, some sedimentary deposits, such as BIFs or phosphorite beds, can extend over vast areas, sometimes hundreds of kilometers. Concentration in specific layers, the valuable minerals are often concentrated in specific strata or layers, making them easier to target for extraction. 6. Economic Value High-grade deposits, Sedimentary ore deposits can be of high economic value due to the high concentration of valuable minerals. For example, the gold and placer deposits is often in a pure, native form. Renewable potential, some deposits, like certain evaporites and marine nodules, can potentially renew under the right conditions, though at geological timescales. 7. Environmental considerations. Ease of extraction. Many sedimentary deposits, such as placer deposits and some evaporites, are near the surface and can be mined relatively easily with minimal overburden. Environmental sensitivity, mining of these deposits can impact the environment significantly, affecting water resources, ecosystems, and leading to issues like subsidence or contamination. Examples of specific sedimentary ore deposits. Placer deposits. Characteristics found in streambeds, beaches, and deltas. Typically consist of heavy, dense minerals like gold and tin. 
Formation, mechanical sorting by water action. Example, gold placers in the Yukon, Canada. Evaporite deposits. Characteristics, consist of salts like halite, gypsum, and anhydrite. Display crystalline textures. Formation, evaporation of saline waters in arid environments. Example, the Great Salt Lake, Utah, USA. Banded iron formations, BFs. Characteristics, alternating layers of iron oxides and silica. Often extensive and very old. Formation, precipitation from ancient oceans due to fluctuating oxygen levels. Example, Hamersley Range, Western Australia. Phosphorite deposits. Characteristics, rich in phosphate minerals. Often associated with organic material. Formation, biological activity and chemical precipitation in marine environments. Example, the Phosphoria Formation, USA. Manganese nodules. Characteristics, rounded nodules on the deep ocean floor, containing manganese, nickel, cobalt, and copper. Formation, slow precipitation from seawater. Example, Clarion Clipperton Zone, Pacific Ocean. Coal beds. Characteristics, layers of carbon-rich material. Vary from lignite to anthracite based on maturity. Formation, accumulation and burial of plant material in swampy, anoxic conditions. Example, Appalachian Basin, USA. Conclusion. Sedimentary ore deposits are diverse and form through a variety of geological processes. Their characteristics, such as mineral composition, texture, formation environment, and spatial distribution, are key to understanding their genesis and guiding exploration and extraction efforts. Recognizing these characteristics aids geologists in locating new deposits and developing sustainable mining practices.